Good morning, beautiful Taurus. Welcome to Divine Empowerment. My name is Joanne. Um, I'm getting so excited. So we're almost to 200 subscribers, and I'll be doing the drawing for this gorgeous Moldavite crystal. Um, if you're new to the channel and you'd like to subscribe, make sure you contact me on the link below my Facebook page and message me and let me know that you subscribed because I will be giving away special gifts with every 100 subscribers. Super excited about that. Also too, I just want to say a huge thank you for everyone who's subscribed, liked, commented, shared the videos. Also too, for everyone who's purchased the Akashic Reading and Clearing. That has been awesome. I have been running behind on my uh, public videos because, or my collective readings, because I have been pretty busy, so yay. Um, still, right now my services are 75% off, so make sure you get in on that. And um, two, I put some information about the Moldavite crystal in the description below. Now, for the sake of time um, on uploading, I have dealt the primary part of this reading, not the guidance, but just the main portion. So let me know if you want me to go back to how I did it before. But this just makes it a little bit faster. So Taurus, it looks, okay, so the overall energy, right? Woman holding a coin, pentacles, right? Um, Taurus, your abundance is definitely heading towards you. Another ace of pentacles. It's time. It's time for you to step into your abundance. Now, some of you will be um, experiencing emotional loss. That means um, it could be leaving careers. It could be moving. Um, in other words, things are changing. So, it's you're going to be, you might be a little homesick. Maybe you just took a job across the country or you're in a different area and you're not around your family and friends that could definitely create an emotional loss for you or maybe your loved ones are working you know all right so let's get this reading started oh nice wow okay Okay, so, yes, and also, too, I want to say the 1212 Way. I mean, it's been insane, all right? Um, we're just now exiting that energy, but you guys have definitely felt the connection, and the solar flares um, will continue until the end of February, so you may want to Google those and write them down in your calendar, right? Just more and more light waves, more and more uh, codes, activations coming in. Make sure that um, you definitely get plenty of rest because you'll wake up and you'll feel rested and rejuvenated and then a sun flare, solar flare comes and just zaps your energy, right? So make sure you're meditating. Make sure that you're envisioning the energy moving up and down through your chakras and spend some time in the garden and the gate, right? Go ahead and take some time out. Rest, rejuvenate process the information that's coming in just don't don't cut yourself off remember the gate is there to just like give you that safe space to meditate and process but make sure you go outside as well um and yes you've just been patient and planning patient and planning and Taurus, I mean, I'm just so proud of you guys. I'm, you know, I mean, I'm just ecstatic. Patience and planning. You definitely, um, it's just beautiful because you guys aren't afraid to fail either, right? True success comes through failure. In other words, some of the most successful people in the world had to experience a lot of failure along the way to keep elevating their level of success. So take time to appreciate everything and everyone, people, places, things, animals, nature, um, just overall appreciation for this whole growth process, for everything that's led you up to this powerful moment, right? And remember, everyone is experiencing this, even if they're not conscious of it, right? They're still experiencing it. And, you know, as we 
as we approach the, the end of around the holidays, there will be more obstacles and challenges, right? So make sure that you look at those as like, oh, yay, obstacles and challenges, right? It makes life interesting, and it also lets you know that you are shifting vibrationally. And just make sure that you keep the door open to healing and happiness. Keep your mood lifted. Even if you wake up and you're feeling a little gloomy, like, ugh, don't really want to do anything today. Just remember that, you know, don't fall into that. Don't spiral into emotional loss. Do whatever you need to do to keep your mood lifted, positive, but just make sure you get plenty of rest in between. And yes, so, you know, the lines of communication, this throat chakra, Taurus, you're ready to express your voice. You're ready to let that light come through. I mean, our voice is a vibration. Sound is vibration, okay? And some of you may um, experience some sore throats right now as well. And, you know, call on Arc angel Gabriel especially um, if you got some throat issues going on swollen glands throat um, and make sure that you call on Archangel Gabriel to heal and balance your fifth chakra and also too that is part of the Akashic reading and clearing is the chakra balance and it's just like I'm also a Reiki master right and Nothing compares to the Akashic work. Even as a Reiki master, it just doesn't have that same um, energetic consistency, right? Because you can easily, even if you go to a Reiki, ma Reiki master every week, right? You're still, chances are you're going to blow out that same chakra again because you're not finding the root cause. And Knight of Cups... You're just feeling the love from the universe. And it's starting to, um, you know, all that sweet natured good Taurus love is starting to come back to you. It's starting to be reflected back to you. Just make sure that, um, you know, you continue to express love as well. Don't, you know, just retake and take and take. You want to make sure you're expressing love back, gratitude, appreciation. And don't be hard on yourselves, right? Show appreciation. Even if, because we're coming up on the end of the cycle, even if you didn't get exactly what you, where you thought you would be in the physical, just know that you deserve, you deserve the future that you're heading into. Okay? Don't be hard on yourself. Just look back and be so grateful and appreciative of everything that you did. This is not a race. It's not a contest. Um, you know, make sure you're having lots of fun. And yes, there will be more obstacles and challenges. There will be more shedding, more soul growth needed. Even for someone, even like me. I mean, I just had to do my own clearing recently because I just had so much dissonance. But that's also the manifestation process. Either there was a problem, there was some block or restriction, or it was just dissonance. Which in my case, it was mainly dissonance. But there was a, a few blockages, so I went ahead and did my own clearing. So yes, it is all about shedding, letting go of the old you, becoming the new, better version of you. And... Nine of Pentacles. So yes, there could be some miscommunication around money, abundance. Make sure that you're following in people that resonate. Like if you're just listening to something because someone recommended it for you, but it doesn't feel good, then chances are it's not resonating for you. So make sure that you're being open and communicative about your money, your pentacles, and make sure you're staying in the flow of your pentacles, okay? Much love. Oh, guidance.
No, I think this was a pretty good reading. <laughs> Much love.